I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. I be working hard and they just want it free. Look at how I'm whipping, so they tripping now. Take away the fake, you see the difference now. Be competitive with yourself. Hey, what's going on? This is Jay Sean for another quick pickup. I wanted to share my experience in real time as it happens with me. So the PS5, I'm not used to games and, and how the new wave of games are with a lot of downloadable content. And uh, I know right now you can't change the internal hard drive, but a commenter suggested in a previous video, I kind of knew about it, but he kind of uh, schooled me a little bit more on uh, how this stuff works. And he was saying to get an external hard drive to store the PS4 games because I have ps5 games but i have way more ps4 games i signed up for ps plus um i did a trial on the ps now and i'm downloading a lot of games and just trying stuff out to see if i like it or not the problem is you just i don't have the space inside the playstation and when they allow the internal uh, memory to be updated or upgraded that's the, that type of memory is super expensive. I'm talking about probably more than a console type for not a lot of memory, right? So the one that I originally was gonna get was a PlayStation branded hard drive, a 2.5 hard drive, right? I'm gonna kind of cut to the clips because I didn't wanna just talk about it as I opened it saying it's a great product. I've been using it now for some time. I've had it on for like three or four days straight downloading, okay? It took forever. I don't know if that's my internet speed, but it was wireless. I don't know if it was too many games, but I was downloading like 50 different games and I had people like online everywhere. So that could have had a big part to do with it. My point is the drives were spinning the entire time. Playstations were on the entire time while I'm streaming game, playing games on it or watching TV or something on it they they still work fine right the only thing i would say just like any hard drive it does, just in case you don't know ssd hard drives are obviously the way to go right but they're way more expensive so the one that was for me for this particular one is a black western digital drive it looks pretty nice the, the build is decent it has it is plastic but has like a little metal cover on top um it looks pretty nice right it looks cool at least uh they're spinning drives right so Anything with mechanical parts, it can fail. Anything can fail, but they're more prone to failure, but they don't fail unless you basically um, shake the drive, drop the drive while it's in motion, meaning while it's plugged in, powered on, you don't really want to handle the drive too much, move it around, shift it around all over the place. That's when you can actually damage a hard drive and they're um, more fragile. Now, when they're off, I'm not saying to go toss your hard drive on the floor, but they're actually, it's pretty hard to actually mess up a hard drive like that when it's not in motion or moving. The parts on it are hard to damage just from handling it or even dropping it in some cases. So just keep that in mind if you're a person who doesn't understand that part of how hard drives work or don't work. I definitely recommend the drive. I got it for a little bit on sale, but it ended up being a bigger drive than I initially planned on. With that being said, if you're like me and you don't want to keep downloading, deleting, downloading, deleting to play older PS4 games only, not five games, because it doesn't do that externally, at least as of right now, make sure uh, you go get an external hard drive. It definitely has been a, a, a life changer for me because honestly, I stopped playing certain games because of the the annoying part of me having to do that because it's not like at least for me it doesn't download like boom super quick it's a process and it takes time and it's like i don't want to sit here for 20 minutes sometimes 30 minutes some of those things are like 100 gigs some of the games you know what i mean and i don't really have the time or patience to wait um it just starts making me not want to play you know what i mean so this drive once i got through the part of downloading 50 some games literally now I'm good. I don't even care. I just turn on, pick a game and play. I haven't I haven't seen any issues as far as playing content from the drive. So with PS Now, I don't like really streaming because I even tried to stream the other day and it looked good enough to play, but there was a time when my internet lagged for some crazy reason and it froze me out the game. I'd rather just download it. So all those games that I added, just trying those games out too, I just downloaded too and I also have it on my drives. So with that being said, I definitely recommend it. I think it's a good buy. I'm pretty sure that there are other different hard drives that you could use um, just as long as you're meeting the tech specs of what you need. I bought mine because it actually recommended it through Best Buy and saying that it was compatible with the PlayStation 4 or 5, and um, it says Game Drive on it, whatever. That doesn't mean nothing, but it seems like it's kind of catered towards these particular needs. So make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level. And remember, you're no competition with anybody except yourself, so make sure your next move is your best move. And um, um, I hope everybody got their console, and if you haven't got it, I hope you get one soon. Until next time, talk to you later.